Hey guys, welcome back to the Daydreamer Hustle. I know it's been a while, but we've been doing a lot of research and thinking, and we came to the conclusion that we need a fifth wheel. We recently sold our 22 foot bumper pull trailer, and we are currently looking for a fifth wheel. So in saying that, we need to upgrade the truck. So now we're looking at a fifth wheel. So now, instead of the bumper pull components, we need fifth wheel components. So I went to go pick up this BMW turnover ball gooseneck hitch. So this is gonna be a DIY, DIY. So this is gonna be a DIY kind of video today. So let's see what we got and open up the box. So this is the main gooseneck piece where the actual ball sits in and locks into place. So there was a quick little tip when I was saying that I was going to install this myself. They said, the truck accessory place, to run your bolts through your threads first before you throw them in because there is powder coating in the threads. Also, if you have a spray and box liner, when you're cutting your four inch hole, count that thickness of your spray bed liner into account when measuring. So we're on the driver's side and we're gonna cut this hole, make a notch a little bit bigger so we can get the flat bar and the angle iron through. Done. Let me do a little more. So a little update, we uh, had to drop my exhaust. So it was touching the gooseneck 
bracket up there it's too tight um, got the bracket in got this side in got the other side in as well pulled the fenders off fished this bolt through the whole rail to here it's the only fishing you have to do on here get this bracket all tightened up here pretty soon I didn't want to drop my tire I didn't want to drop my exhaust but it had to be done all right just finishing up tightening up the bolts got that quick release handle here this is the pin that's what it looks like from under here there it is now we're going to put a fifth wheel connection plug in the box probably right here 11 pin fifth wheel connection fits with Chevy Dodge GMC Nissan Ram Toyota full-size pickups seven-way connector is on your truck you plug this into there and then you plug your other adapter into here and then you route this wire which gets plugged into your new 7 pin which will be in the box it's just a T connection that's all I ended up putting the hole over here uh, I couldn't put it over here it's too small plus I didn't want it too close to this tie down strap if I have to strap anything down So we just picked up this Super Ride Blue Ox, 20,000 pound fifth wheel gooseneck, two and five sixteenths ball. Let me show you the features this has. So pull it back straight, gets hooked onto there. So when you back up the trailer, it has a full 360 degree locking pin. It's a maneuverable. I have a short dead, so it's maneuverable hitch. So just gotta unlock this pin here. Pull this extra safety plate out. Pull back on this arm. And then go it comes back. Hold on a sec. Tilt this back up. It comes back so far. So over, they said over 11 inches of maneuverable. Also has four rubber springs to smoothen out the stress and bucking. So 
if you see uh, we're in between here there's a full there's a rubber pad spring in here and also up top here so when you're driving that eliminates all the stress and bucking also comes with this nice huge rubber plate hockey puck board so that's a, a big plus and this is where your fifth wheel ball gooseneck attaches to just torque down for specs and you're good to go show you that again so when you move so I'll show you that again so just for towing wise this comes up all the way of course when you have your trailer on here it'll stay where your kingpin is but yeah from this position to that we get a side angle so this is basically your maneuver position to your toe position so it doesn't hit the back of the cab So now we've gotten all this installed. We'll put this back, put that pin there. Put this towing arm safety pin back in. Put this back in there. Okay, so all the work that I've done to get this ready to get this all set up. Oh, there's my fifth wheel, seven pin connector. To get this all ready, to get this all set up, we actually bought a fifth wheel. We went three hours drive to go get it, bring it back, park it in storage for the first week. Well, North Calgary decided to have a little storm. Nice hailstorm. So now my truck is full of dents, if you can see that. On the hood. Golf ball size hail hit it. Big crack there. You see the windshield, it's all smashed. Top of the hood, or top of the cab is all dented. So, now I need to bring it in to get it looked at. And see what happens from there. So now this has set us back for even camping. So when we went to go look at our trailer for the night, this is the night that it happened. And we were actually inside the trailer when this hailstorm happened. It was chaotic. It was intense because the hail started coming through the vents, golf ball size hail. It damaged our, all our vents on top. It damaged our roof of our new trailer, fifth wheel. So now, we are looking at uh, an insurance claim on the trailer. We just got the trailer. We love the trailer. We want to show you guys the trailer. But they haven't set a date so they can come and look at it. So um, Tuesday, which today's Sunday, Tuesday they're going to come look at my truck and go from there. So if you guys like the installation, if you have any comments, 
about the hailstorm, about the hitch, about the gooseneck, just uh, leave a comment below. Remember to like and subscribe and uh, hope this all goes well. Thanks.